minor. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that D minor is probably my second favorite minor chord. It's just really pretty. So the D minor chord is very interesting because I feel like when I teach it to my students and then I see them play it back, couple different things happen. There just seems to be a lot of confusion with this one, just kind of like the D major, if you were around for my D major tutorial. It's just one of those kind of weird, awkward shapes. Let me explain. We're gonna be using the first three frets for this shape, which we're gonna be using a finger per fret. So we're going to take our first finger and place it on the first fret, first string, first everything. Then our second finger to the second fret, but third string, make sure it's that third string, because I feel like this is where the confusion begins. So then our last finger, our third finger, will be on the third fret, but it's gonna be on the second string. So just make sure that these two last fingers are where they're supposed to be. Second finger, second fret, third string, third finger, third fret, second string. So from here, we are going to strum down from the fourth string, which happens to be open, keeping it a D note, and that is actually the root note of this chord. So when we strum down all together, it should sound like this. The other thing that I tend to really notice with this chord is that transition-wise, it's a little bit more of a difficult transition just because there are not a lot of chords that have a similar shape to the D minor shape. So it's kind of like on its own island and you usually have to move around most of your fingers and it can just be a really confusing shape to get at first. So it's just one that you just have to repeatedly practice until you just don't have to look at your guitar anymore and you just know where it is. Like it's like home, you know, you, you can walk around the hallway in your house with your eyes closed and probably make it to the fridge safely and get your midnight snack. That's kind of what you want for the D minor. So that is how you build the D minor shape. Now our next chord up is going to be the easy E minor and I don't call it the easy E minor for no reason. This is probably one of the chords that I recommend every beginner learns because it's easy. So keep those guitars tuned up and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.